You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. I do not believe the story you told mom back there. This is more than just a fever. Why are you stressing this issue? I said I'm just having fever. I said I don't believe you. Fine. Believe whatever you want. It's none of my business. Not only me. Mom do not believe you either. I overheard her talking to dad about you a few minutes ago. That's why I'm here. To get the truth from you. So I know how to defend you when that comes. David, what truth do you want to hear? If you were intimate with Victor. Victor again? Yes. Because mom believes that you're pregnant. Your silence here is no more holy. And I ask you again, are you pregnant? Answer now! Talk to me, I said, are you pregnant? Anyway, there is no point asking her whether she's pregnant or not. I'm a woman. I know she is pregnant and I know who is responsible. I told you to be careful. But no, you wouldn't listen. Now it has happened. You are pregnant for Victor. And another girl is pregnant for him. What a disgrace. You disappoint me. And who the hell is that Victor? Anyway, there's no need to waste your time. You and David, your brother, will go and bring that Victor now. Sorry, Dad. Sorry for what? He said I need that veto. <sighs> this has nothing to do with Victor. I don't get it. Talk now! This girl is pushing me off. I'll beat you! I'll beat her. I'll beat this girl up now. I, don't, don't, don't push me. He's David. Where does this David live? I will go there personally. Where does he live? And who is that David? Talk now. Sitting at your left hand side. It's a David. Tell me your truth. Me, you are choking. Hey! Have you been having an affair with your sister? Yeah, I, was, I was drunk. I was drunk. I didn't know how it happened. I... Hey! Allow me to enjoy myself. Allow me to enjoy myself. Allow 
way to work. You have to stop this. You have to stop this, okay? Please. 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 <laughs> stop crying, please. Okay, do, 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 you, do you know what? Do you know what? I am going to make you happy right now, okay? Come on. Come on. Take some sip. Okay. It's going to make you forget you are. Sorrows and you feel good. Okay? Come on, come on, stop this. Come on. Just take a sip, just take a sip okay? Mm. That's good. That's good. I'm actually gonna take some. Feel now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, come on, go some. Oh. Uh, mm. <sighs> That's my girl. That's my baby. That's my baby. <laughs> I know it's gonna make you feel good. I know. I know. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you need some? Some. Mm. Oh, come on, come on. Not too much. You need more? Consequences of this abominable act that you people engage yourselves into. Mm -hmm. 
What will people say of me when they hear this? That my daughter got pregnant for my son, her older brother? Oh, this is unacceptable. This is totally unacceptable. I can't take this. This, this brought me to public clinical. David is not my brother. Are you out of your mind? No, Mom. I know the hidden truth about me. But I've been patiently waiting for you and Dad to open up to me. What are you talking about? I'm talking about my true identity. If you and Dad truly care about me, you shouldn't have hidden the truth from me. What truth are you talking about? That I'm an adopted child. How did you get this information? From the flash that got missing the other day. I saw the pictures in it. The voice notes. I also overheard your conversation on the phone with some man. I followed you, Dad. I saw you give a bag of money to someone. And as if that wasn't enough, you called the person on Mr. Felix. Telling him not to let me know that I'm an adopted child. Dad. Dad. Mom. Please. I need to know who my real parents are. Who are they? Where do they live? I want to know them. Please talk to me. Truth is, we are not your biological parents. <sighs> we got you from an orphanage. As for your parents, We don't know who they are. Mother Teresa, who was in charge of the orphanage, said that someone dropped you in front of the orphanage. You see, after the birth of David, We still needed a child, a girl child. But because of what happened to me in the past, of water even when I'm not feeling pressed <sighs> I 
Money. My love. Hey, sweetheart. Are you back? Yeah, I just got in right now. Hey, 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 slow down. Slow down. Easy, easy. What is wrong with you? Honey, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that I feel just feverish. And there's this strange abdominal pain that I'm, oh, I'm having here. Hey. Why didn't you tell me when I was leaving the house this morning? I'm sorry. I would have taken you to the hospital. No, I'm sorry. I thought it was just a normal pain. A normal pain, you say? Woman, you're damn pregnant. You're not supposed to discard things like this. Oh no, just take it easy, okay? Let me go right in and drop my bag. Right. I'll come back right now and take you straight up to the hospital. Okay, I'll be waiting. When your father brought me home after delivery, I noticed that he was not in a good mood. He wasn't happy. I tried to find out what happened. For five days, I was still asking him before he finally opened up. Honey? Yes, darling. Look at me. Look at me. You look so worried. What is it? What is bothering you? Is there anything you can tell me, you will share with me? Or maybe I did something to you that you do not want to tell me? <sighs> Honey, please talk to me. You have been wearing this face for almost five days now, and I don't like it. Honey, please talk to me. Alright. Promise me you won't be hungry with yourself. Or anybody for ever say this to you. I promise. What is it? You remember when I encouraged you on the CS? Yes, it's which I refused. My love, it was Dr. Williams that told me to encourage you that. He felt you were gonna to listen to me. And you and I know it took you almost three or four days before you eventually delivered. And then he requested I followed him to his office. Um, Mr. Nathan Akui. Yes, Dr. Williams. Uh, it's uh, been three days now since your wife is in labor. And you know, delay in delivery, especially when the child is also been delivered, hmm. can lead to complications. Um, Doc, as it stands now, what do you think we can do? Uh, we have tried all the cool to advise your wife to go into serious delivery. Hmm. Uh, but the induction of labor thing, I don't know why she is head bent. Or Delivering like other women know. So I, I would advise you talk to her. Make her understand that it's risk free delivering through seals. Of course, she doesn't want that. Wow. Okay, I will. But let me speak with her first. Thank you very much, Doctor. I quite appreciate. Oh, 
I was actually going to your office. Uh, have you related to your wife what we discussed? Yes, I did. So she's still proving very stubborn. And I'm very worried right now. Listen, doctor, I don't want anything to happen to my wife or our baby. It's okay. Don't push her any further. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, I will place her on some antibiotics. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, while she's still in labor. All right. So don't worry. Okay. Right. Doctor, please, I need you to put in your best. Please. Don't worry, of course. Thank you. Wait. Give me this guy for five. Make sure you go over the necessary one. Come on. Please, quickly attend to this person. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Mr. Okoye. Yes, Dr. Williams. Uh, are you aware that your wife had an abortion some time ago? Uh, yes, that was shortly before we got married. But is she okay? Yeah, for, for now. Oh. But there is a problem. That was why I asked to see. Wait, Dr. Williams. I hope this is not a matter of life and death. No. Uh, your wife had an infection that affected her too. What? Uh, many things can cause this. Uh, <sighs> The flow of water, which she neglected, the history of her abortion, uh, the <laughs> premature rupture of membrane uh, with prolonged labor that was not properly handled. Uh, that one can also cause uh, pelvic inflammatory disease which can also affect her womb. That is why we always advise women to go through CS if there is any form of delay in normal delivery. Uh, wait, Dr. Williams. Are you in a nutshell telling me right now that my wife cannot conceive? Is that what you're telling me? I'm afraid, Mr. Okoye, but that is what it seems like. No. No! I need a break right now. This is not good news! Yes, it's not. Let me advise you. At this point in time, I don't think you should let her know that this is her cause. I don't want you to let her know that she costs this out of maybe carelessness. You need to tell her things that she needs to hear. You need to be more than a husband to her right now. <sighs> Do you know my wife and I we are already looking forward to a baby girl? As our next child. That shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I would advise you to go to IVF or uh, uh, Dr. Chan in one of the small days. David, I understand how you feel. But think about mom. If you feel that does not care about us, what of mom? Hmm? We cannot carry this hatred for long. As a matter of fact, I think we should go and see them. Let's go and see them. We are not going anywhere. <laughs> 